Hey guys, welcome back to Green Tea Garden. Today I'm in the greenhouse, guys, and uh, right now I have some coffee grinds, my radish, and my beetroots. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. Uh, definitely got some kind of insect or something. So I just came back in here and I I could see uh, some ants right now, and I do love insect and animal and stuff like that. But when it comes down to eating on my my vegetables, I try to like you know see if I could get them away from my vegetables so I don't want to lose my uh, veggies so I definitely see some bites and stuff on my leaves and all that stuff so normally I would spray like soap water around or something but since it's in the greenhouse um, I normally don't have any kind of bugs or ants in the greenhouse so this is the one of the rare time that I'm actually having some ants right now or what kind of whatever insects I'll show you guys so I have coffee grind um, I'm, I normally add coffee grind guys for uh, nitrogen for uh, certain plants like scallions and stuff like that to help them but today I'm gonna add uh, coffee grind I'm gonna add it all around my um, on my garden bed uh, to people said the uh, it's really good it'll help uh, get rid of ants or insects or some bugs like that um, so we're gonna put it to a test here guys alright guys so this is the uh, left side corner in my uh, greenhouse and I'm gonna show you up close right now. So I do have a bunch of radish over there and a beetroot. And we could see right, uh, let's see, where did it go? Uh, I just saw one ant, oh my God. Oh my God, there's so much ants. I'll show you guys, literally right there guys. It's like a million ants literally so this is a coffee ground um normally i notice some people mix it with water and then spray it i'm just gonna sprinkle it around especially with the ants are right here i'm gonna put a bunch around because as i told you guys it's weird i never had um any kind of insect problem in the greenhouse but i guess after you know uh sitting down for the winter and then coming back Oh, if you guys look right here, you guys could see. Uh, sorry about the camera. Let me see. There's some definitely some bites on the radish and stuff there. So that's definitely the ants. I do not want to put too much because then there will be all, too much nitrogen. But I definitely want to see if I could get rid of some of these ants. And I'll I'll add it now, and I'll give you guys an update on um let you guys know how it work if we got rid of most of the ants or if they're still around because I do have a bunch and you guys can see they'll get it into the leaves and certain stuff like that uh, I don't mind if they eat the leaves I just you know wish they don't eat the the veggies below I normally mix uh, soap water or if I really want to get dangerous with these guys I end up using the cayenne pepper you get the cayenne pepper guys and you sprinkle it around or you can mix it in water with a spray bottle and you spray it around but that's kind of a little bit more extreme i would say when it comes to it but you know you got to do what you got to do to you know pr protect your garden so basically guys i'm gonna go around putting the sprinkle more uh, coffee grind around the vegetables and i'm not gonna put it all over because i do not want to have too much uh, coffee grind which is nit most nitrogen and um, I'm going to come back later on and I'll water all the plants and everything. So I'm going to water that down. Uh, right now I'm just leaving it dry like that. So see if the ants eat it or what the ants are going to do with it. Uh, some people said it it messed, it messed like distract the ants from their trails and their home. And I don't mind putting like a coffee trail going like, you know, to the backyard far apart or something. That'll be fine because I do want to save my veg veggies that's growing. Alright guys, so I'm going to keep you guys updated with that and a lot more stuff going up. And uh, the weather looks like it's getting a turnaround coming around in New York right now. So, hey, so don't forget, if you're all about gardens, subscribe, click the bell icon. It's 100% free every time I upload a video. You guys will get a notification that Green Tea Garden upload a video. Check out the video. Uh, please give a thumbs up. And um, definitely, guys, uh, share my video to family and friends. I really appreciate it. Uh, we're definitely in the 700 subscribers. I'm super excited. Thank you guys so much for support, supporting and subscribing to Green Tea. Can't wait to reach 1,000 subscribers and getting up there. Uh, channels are growing, which I love. And thank you to all my supporters and everybody who's watching, guys. Um, if you guys always have any question or comment, uh, comment below. Let me know what's going on, guys. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, soon. I'll do. I got a bunch of more videos going on, and I'm gonna give you guys maybe a next couple days. Uh, I'll leave this for uh, three, four days to see 
uh, any result and I'll give you guys a heads up I'll let you guys know about the coffee grounds but coffee grounds guys you could use for multiple ways I'll make another video and let you guys know what is some different more stuff you guys could use for coffee grounds thank you guys for watching